Hi, this is Tom again. Tom, the inventor in paradise. Remember, I've been working on my MG. We just got through with the thermostat a little while ago. And uh, while I was there, I mentioned that I took out the fan that was behind uh, or in front of the motor here, and I replaced it with uh, electric fans because I have AC in this, and I really want to get a push of air through my radiator and cooling system. So there's a large uh, electrical fan on the inside, a puller, and a pusher here on the outside that I just put in a little while ago. And uh, this is what I took out. This was in the front of the engine, this big, heavy, rubberized, uh, molded uh, fan blade. <laughs> it is awful heavy. They, I've read in different magazines where they tell you to take it off if you can and put the electric ones on because this here is so much of a burden on the motor. Well, I want to show you something else. Hold on a minute. To put that fan in, you see how tight it is in the front? <laughs> You have to be careful and order one that'll fit in that little space between the, well, I have the uh, AC refrigerant uh, cooler in there as well, but in front of your radiator, regardless if you put a, a pusher fan in, it's got to fit in that space right along in here between, between the frame and the radiator. Now here's the trick. You can take the top bolts of the radiator here, you can loosen them or pull them out. And, and uh, disconnect your hose and you can take that radiator and really push it back a little bit. You can gain yourself a half inch or so a little space to feed this fan down in there. The hard part is you got to put the little fan on first. You know if you're going to use those plastic uh, stems that go through with a little connector on them because this is a smaller diameter you have to put it on and clip off the excess uh, the excess rod sticking through so it doesn't interfere with the second fan. The second fan goes on, the clips are outboard of the first one and much more accessible from the front to be easily clipped. How do you clip them? Well, you got a pair of dikes or you use those uh, pliers that come in your uh, electrical kit.